Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plain Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. I did a sneak feeding without you guys the other day, or about a week ago. Didn't have time to put out a proper video. Oh, and good lord, it is teeming with. Uh, fungus gnats or fruit flies. I'm going to have to do something about that, clearly. I just fed them some uh, rice soup stuff. So, let's see what's going on besides the fruit flies that I'm going to have to mitigate. Alright. So this was... Uh, so that's going to mold because that had rice in it. Okay, well, I thought that would be a lovely worm ball for us, but it kind of hardened up like a brick. So that's going to have to get put deeper when we get done today. Okay, so that really creeped me out. That looked like a mouse or something sitting there. Can you see that? How that would look like a mouse? Creepy. Orange. Let's see. All my sticks. So we're, we're not really getting worm ball out of anything here, which is a little disappointing. It also looks a bit dry, which is unusual considering that I've been having quite a bit of wet feedings. The uh, African night crawlers are up in the regular floor, the people floor. They are not in the basement like the rest of the worms. Uh, mostly because they can't take the cold temperatures and I didn't really want to uh, take and put them in something that I had to move all the time so I just decided to get an urban worm bag uh, first and then now I've got the vermi bag but these guys go through an enormous amount of bedding which is good because there's lots of uh, boxes to eat here That's not ready. You're right. Well, got a little bit of a worm ball on the orange. Other than that, I think it's starting to look a little dry, so I'm going to go get my sprayer. Okay, got my squeeze bottle here. Make sure they get some water. got the moisture back together. Um, going to, even though there's some leftovers, I'm going to bury them. They need to moisten back up before the worms are going to be able to eat it. Um, but I am going to give them something for fast food that they can eat right now. Just going to fluff everything up here, make sure that everything's even and then they are going to get a present okay so they are going to get some cantaloupe and a couple of these funny looking peaches I'm gonna put my finger in there to make sure they 
kind of a place to get started. All right. And I'm going to cover them up, and the bin is a little bit full, so I'm going to let them work this down before I uh, give them any more bedding because it is getting kind of full. I think that uh, the next video will probably be a harvest. We're trying to, to keep at the rhythm of harvesting every month so that we can get this bin operating correctly the way it was meant to. When I had the urban worm bag, I didn't do that. I just kind of, I would wait three, six months before harvesting. And I created my own problem. So with this one, I am trying to behave and do it as designed. Um, Okay, so that is it for today with the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.